Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. In this one, I'll try to make this oak bedside table look expensive and elegant. As always, there was a lot of sanding, but I will try to keep it as short as possible and at the same time give you an idea how long it actually took. The veneer on the door was actually in a pretty good shape, but not good enough for what I was going to do. I use my heat gun to speed up the drying process. Hello. As I was waiting for the glue to dry, the friendly neighborhood cat came for a cuddle. If you're enjoying this video, I make several of them per month, so if you subscribe and click the notification bell, you'll know when I post another one. Thank you. 
unlike some other pieces of furniture that I've worked on recently, this one was actually in a decent condition other than the top. So some bits of veneer were missing and I replaced the top, but otherwise I was able to save the veneer that was on it. I took off the plug and I saved it for later. I use CA glue and activator to glue back a piece of veneer that was lifting. And I use my iron to apply the veneer to the door. I've got several really interesting projects coming up the next month and one of them will be collaboration video with David from Mayfield Restorations. I'll put his link in the description so check him out. This was a bit of an odd angle to cut and I cut a bit too far, but I was able to fix it. Sometimes I feel that making mistakes is the best way to learn because you're forced to come up with solutions. The inside of the door was covered with mahogany veneer and a piece was missing, but fortunately I had some veneer to replace it with. And it was actually a pretty nice match, so I was happy with the result. Using Mineral Spirit highlights all the imperfections, but it also allows you to get an idea what the wood will look like with the finish on it. I marked some areas that I wasn't happy with and I let it dry before I came back to sand it.
and this is how I fixed very small pieces of missing veneer. or a snack or both and there is the fluffy friend again I think she's been spending more time at my home than at her own If you've never seen this before, dissolving steel wool in vinegar can be used as some sort of dye and it works best on oak. That's why I decided to use it on this project. As you can see, the color is changing quite rapidly and this is not the final result, so just trust the process. So the plywood that I was using for the top of this cabinet is not the original one because I tried a different option at first and I wasn't happy with it and this is what it looked like. I also wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you wonderful people who support me via buy me a coffee or using my Amazon wishlist link or by hitting the super thanks button. It does make a huge difference given this is my only job as of December and I really appreciate it. All the links are in the description if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you. And like I said, trust the process, it's not going to be purple. It's actually quite interesting to think about how this works because the tannins in the wood react with iron so the wood is basically deciding on what it's gonna look like itself. If you've never tried these markers, 
they're amazing and they've helped me so much so many times so i highly recommend them I felt like this side table needed to be elevated, so I found these legs in my drawer, I spray painted them matte black and I put them on. I use matte black on the hardware because I wanted to try something different. The plywood edge didn't look very nice, so I used the furniture marker to cover it up in a very easy way. When you work with old furniture, there's always some bits that are not perfect, so these markers come very handy. And we are almost done. Thank you so much for watching and remember to check out all the links in the description. I finished this project by engraving and cutting out my logo and I glued it on the back of the cupboard. I hope you enjoyed the final results and see you next week.